Do my mustache a little bit. Do uh, your mustache? Fix your mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Should I fix my mustache? Alright, okay. okay. So we'll get right into it. Let me just uh, turn this bad boy. So uh, this is Brendan here in London, Ontario with a Paradigm Shift London crew hanging out <laughs> on a Friday night with some uh, guests visiting, including our good buddy Matt who uh, is within the Paradigm Shift London crew, but he's been traveling and now he's back in town. So while he's here, as part of the uh, Team Lucid Dream project, facebook.com slash Team Lucid Dream, I was gonna ask Matt to uh, share his thoughts on uh, the value of dream exploration and uh, just how it can help us tap into the creative process and you know, peel back the layers of the onion, so to speak. So Matt, what do you have to tell to all the people out there in terms of dreams? What do you have to share with them? Um, in terms of dreams, uh, catch the dreams running in the streams of your subconsciousness, make them conscious. Um, there's the key to soul. Know the key to soul. Find your key to soul to put an ignition to fire intuition. Uh, the key to soul is a method for dream exploration. It can help you, uh, it's, it's the one that will help you here now. Like, I would consciously process the key to soul, um, first being subject subject SOL so subject being the self self subject you are present in yourself you are being aware of yourself as a conscious being in a in some kind of universe um, and you're breathing there's a heartbeat we have pulse we're still living there's all these things around us the surrounding so there's objects next thing is objects there's things surrounding are uh, what kind of there's different there's different um, we have like multi dimensions uh, say um, Physically, we exist in like the third and fourth dimension between back and forth. Like we're just like fluctuating between those, those four or three or four, constantly. And then uh, in the dream world, uh, we come into the fifth, and we can. Um, it, it has different properties to it. It's like uh, your thoughts manifest as you th as you come. So it's like you could ask yourself a question uh, right now. It's like you know, is this, is this solid? Is the ground solid? Is the is there any objects moving weird? Is there a pink elephant running through the room? You know, like am I ask? Not many people ask the question: Am I in the physical, or am I in the astral? Am I dreaming? And and we can be dreaming, waking too. Uh, what's that waking life thing? Uh, we're wake walking through our day lives and sleep walking <laughs> through our or something like that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like we're we are dreaming so much in our day to day life. We we're not we're not always conscious. So it's like become cognizant of yourself, become aware, subject, object, then location. How did you get here? You know, how did we get here right now? We process back. You know, what I mean, because sometimes the dream you'll forget how like the room will just like the walls will fall apart sometimes. If you don't you won't even take it in it's just like oh, okay <laughs> you know like our, our consciousness is so dulled sometimes from all like the things we take in in society the various mass weapons of distraction blah 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 you know um yeah the key to soul is a very good method um recording those dreams and any memories you have of say if, say if, uh when, when people uh you're li we're limiting ourselves when we say we don't remember you do remember you have a memory like the memories uh, it just has to be activated like we have yeah. memories of things you possibly couldn't uh, you may not imagine sometimes but it's just like if you, if you have a, like a willpower to try to remember it'll start to build in a structure where the memories will be able to like like the dreams are coming through they're just not they're not staying in our conscious cognizant it's like the mind. connection yes yeah, so we yeah. got to make the connection the connection's waiting to be made we're dreaming our dreams are like being processed in our subconsciousness there's like various levels to our subconscious you know we're like there's like we're like there's like 97 percent of like darkness in ourselves that we don't even know about it's just unconscious there's all these multiplicity of things that are streaming through just find out what they are like no don't, don't be afraid of anything you know just be curious Con consciously cruise through your subconsciousness and make it conscious again you know um you need to wake up um remember who we were and like remember uh to be, be like aspire to be a human like you know what does it mean to be a human being and dreaming uh is like one medium among many which dreaming can help with anything understanding your dreams is like understanding um uh, well it's understanding yourself you know it's like a, your whole how we spend like a third of our life sleeping and if our whole mind's like active in there and like man, like there's like a second of dream time could be like infinity sometimes you know you never know it's just like it feels like you just experience a couple lifetimes in a matter of seconds because time is irrelevant there because you're, you're kind of like transcending time in that in that dimension and then who knows how further you can go like once you wake up there 
and become a conscious pilot in your dreams. Uh, you know, like do what hasn't been done. You know, just be be like have the willpower to trance, to end the trance, to transcend, to transcend, <laughs> transcend, and trance. The trance will end. So, what does it mean to be human? Hue, hue, mana. Human, human, man. The hue of yeah, mana. Yeah, like human. Uh, I don't know totally yet because uh, I just don't know a lot about myself. But like, what can but dreams like, do to help? Dreams us can help yeah. us understand like those connections. Dreams are like the like, like you know it rhymes still. It's like the streams like rolling like rolling through. It's like a an, um, that oral birth symbol. It's like you know we're constantly yeah. returning and reoccurring in the same cyclic cycles. And our dreams are presenting to us in either the slowest or the fastest pace we want to. You can slow it down, or you can really like you, you can process many lifetime or, uh, or many things at once. It just depends on how you want to see it. You know, you, you have like a, a canvas open, and it's just whether you you want to like you're like you're always you're like there are all these things coming in, and like, dreams like. Um, you gotta open up like, the canvas again and like have like a tabula rusa, give it a blank slate, so you can stop dreaming and have visions. Make it like a malleable working center, you know, of your being, a human being. A being can become present. Like we're no, we're so we try to fill ourselves up with so much, you know, and just like let things go, let things open up a little bit. Like human, the word hue, like spirit. Um, it, may, it could have possible other meanings. From my understanding, I think it means spirit. And then man, humanus, yeah, hu, man, manas meaning mind. So it's like spirit mind. That's like a possible connection to us. Um, and I, I think we've fallen away from that a little bit, from being what it means to be human. We are caught in various fascinations. Fascinations is what like, keeps these dreams uh, unconscious. So they're not lucid. They're not. They're not. We're not. We're not, we're not able to actually project because we're so fascinated with material objects. We're so fascinated with just, just you know, like just like little textile things constantly, you know, like we have passions, desire, blah, blah, blah. And they're not good or bad. Nothing is good or bad. Like there's no good or evil things. It's just like we just make, we have a free will of choices that we make along spectrums of energies, you know. It's just like there's a cause and effect. So it's like how you, the, it's just like you're either consciously causing it or you're unconsciously causing it, you're always doing it, and you're always stemming the, like, the multiplicity of effects will arise from that, no matter what. The, the effects are always greater than the cause. So just be conscious of what you're doing. Yeah. 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 Do you want to uh, read yeah. off something that you got there? Oh. Matt's pretty uh, into the creative writing, a yeah. lot of which inspirationally stems from the dream, from dream realm. I haven't fully... Uh, come together a compilation of uh, dream dreaming per se but I think this has inspired that so it'll come up this is a piece I wrote called the cosmic drop um, uh, possibly inspired by catching dreams in the streams of my subconsciousness and trying to make a consciousness in various revolutions of psychology and a great rebellion of sorts in this age of Aquarius um, Sagittarius you know trying to fire that bow through this animal state that I'm stuck in uh, we're stuck in you know not all these eyes and multiplicities uh, cosmic drop this one's called um, bursting, o uh, bursting stones of philos, rippling ohms, Rome, uh, penetrating the blossoming igneous rose of Sophia, piercing pistes, a flow wolf retrieves dianoia from Akashia, aspiring to transformation for the atom noose, a drop in copulation, retrieving, uh, reaching up with the cup of Hermes, with the soul to squeeze for the creation of Adam, coming in the conscious currents. Conscious currents colliding, colliding in the cosmic drop. This is why I cry. This is why we're here. This is my tear. Uh, roaming ripples from home. Oh, oh, we're roaming ripples from home. The brevity of the drop can't stop until its will appears here in the valley of tears. Or a burst, oscillating, biting its own tail around Medusa's cave turning to stone all the fascinated molecular slaves caught by the devices of their own versatile vices caught in the vein chains pulling them by their bhava chakra an attitude of being 
circulating in a cyclic nature, nurturing the black stone of Lucifer, a steam for a dream, make it their own, cleaned and cloned, the envy of society, a crazy breeze of the greed with the need to supply their demand, they can only seem to stand to the Stand, they can only, they, so they can seem to stand tall against the wall with the wills to power. The lunar architects sit in the ominous towers, blueprinting, blueprinting to be building for the dreams, dying to be building their dreams. Fascinated by the fanatical fantasies, living dead, head hardened by lunar lead, only perceive a persona, naive to believe. Naive to believe every eye that passes by me and myself and the mind under the line 49. Soul screams for a spirit. The soul screams for a spirit to a mind and body drunk on ego to a cost descending to desire. Lost in the limbo flow between heaven and hell, a purgatory perspective colliding in the unconscious collective. Sunken soul retrieved in astro an astral hospital. An astral hospital seeking a spirit. No presence of the essence. In the mind, I find an overwhelming noise of nouns. Can't immediately see how to see behind. Blind, begging to see. Grabbing the bull by its horns, dying to be born. Colliding in the conscious currents in the castle caves of the mental beginning, spinning in the subconscious webs of the astral plane, straining to gain vitality for my physicality so it can try to transcend this third dimensional molecular reality, spiraling in duality, living for, living for building foundations for the laboratory of alchemy. Heal me when you find the reason to come up from this cosmic drop. Nasate Ipsum. Nasate Ipsum. We come home to know ourselves. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. So dreams help us unlock creativity, and creativity is intelligence. Wait. Um, creative, like uh, the Anunnaki people, one of the one of the native groups that come from this area, the Anunnaki and Haudenosaunee. Um, Anunnaki would say that the dreams are the window to the mind, and the mind being that manna is the part of the spirit. You know, it's like. It's um, an aspect which creates a lot of our world, you know. We're not that... Uh, Goath, uh, he's a German philosopher. He said it was wrong to say that I'm thought. Rather, to be more right to say that I'm present at the, thought at the thought occurring. It began as I can't immediately cease to imagine. It began in a riot of perfumes. Now, I don't know what the end part means, but it seems, it seems pretty poetic and beautiful. And I like, I like to, it's just like erupting into senses, you know, like the thought is there and then it kind of comes down and it erupts into the senses and we become fascinated at that point because it's, it's a fascinating process. So just become conscious. Cool. Any, any final words? Um, namaste. Namaste. Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks, brother. Find the way. Soul shake. Soul shake. Cool, man. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. No worries. Thank you. Namaste. Keep finding the way. Ha, ha, ha.